Hi guys, welcome to Daddy in the Don. Today it's round four of the FA Cup and Punditry team are going to be bringing you every game that involves the Premier League team. First game up is Man United versus Middlesbrough and making a return appearance is our mate Munzee from Munzee Talks obviously. If you haven't seen his channel already, details are on screen and in the description. If you like good football chat, head over and check him out now. Hello, this is Munzee from Munzee Talks and my game is Manchester United versus Middlesbrough. Well, Manchester United's season has been up and down uh, since Oxcar's left. Yep, yeah, it's been on, still up and down. Um, but yeah, at the moment, Man United are fourth in the Premier League. Um, doing okay, getting up there. Hopefully, they're getting through the top floor four. Um, but yeah, this is FA Cup, anything can happen. Middlesbrough are having a half decent season as well. They won it at the weekend. Um, Chris Wilder's team is always hard to beat. Uh, my score prediction is going to be 2 0 Manchester United. But yeah, Middlesbrough put a good fight up. Kinnaman start versus West Ham, the National League North side, who are now into the fourth round after defeating Reading at home last time out 2 1 in the giant killing of the round. Um, yeah, listen, they've done fantastic to get to this stage of the competition, and now they're facing one of the best teams in, in the league. Well, in England, uh, in West Ham. Um, West Ham, I think, will be respectful here. I think they'll play some of their big boys, but they will play some of their fringe players. Because, you know, teams like Kinder Minister, they deserve this opportunity in front of the cameras. And I think they're going to they're gonna cause a few problems. But in the end, I think West Ham, will, regardless what team they put out, will will have enough to, to, to advance to the next round. So I'm going to say 4-1 West Ham. Chelsea v Plymouth, FA Cup fourth round. Um, should be a <clears throat> simple uh, victory for Chelsea. Going for against the League One opposition Plymouth, who are, I believe, just outside the playoffs. Um, I can see Tuchel giving a few youth players a uh, run out, uh, combined with players like potentially Lukaku and Werner. Um, to try and get their confidence going again, scoring some goals, especially what we need in the the run to the end of the season. But I can see, obviously, being at home especially, I can't see any shock there. I can see a comfortable result. Um, I'm going to go 3-1. I think we're going to be 3-0 up, and I think Plymouth, similar to what Chesterfield did in the round before, get a consolation. But I can see a lot of Chelsea on the ball, a lot of creativity, players, fringe players. They're not getting much of a game at the moment. Slash players are not playing well onto form. We'll be starting on top of uh, a few youth players. We'll have the youth goalkeeper in. Um, oh yeah, I can see a 3-1 one, three, 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 one result. Plymouth will have a good day out. They'll go, they'll go and see a goal lay on and uh, Chelsea go through to the next round. So once again, Plymouth here, Chelsea v Plymouth. Chelsea 3, Plymouth 1. I'm going to go for... Two goals from Werner, and I'm going to go with one Lukaku because I expect them both to play so, or play some part in the game. So, there's my prediction. Cheers. FA Cup fourth round. The match I've been given is Wolves versus Norwich. Beginning with Wolves, they're coming off a huge away win against Brentford, a 2 1 win. They were decent in that game. I didn't watch the game myself, but. Going away to Brentford and taking the three points is a mad, is a massive thing. So yeah, um, Wolves are going to be very highly motivated for the FA Cup. Can see them going strong into this game, strong team. Norwich, on the other hand, themselves coming off a big relegation win against another shit team, Watford. They won comfortably in a three 0 win away which is obviously going to boost their confidence going into this FA Cup game. I can see both teams wanting to progress to the next round because obviously FA Cup, anything can go, especially when you come up against big teams in the FA Cup. So both teams will be hungry to get into the next round. However, with Wolves' capability, their edge, the players they have, I can see them edging this. And yeah, I think Wolves will take this game 2-1. So Crystal Palace versus Hartley Paul. Palace at home. If 
the last round against Mill was anything to go by, although it wasn't a great performance. He did put out a strong team, so I think he's taking the cup seriously. As realistically, it's all we can really play for. Pretty safe in mid-table at the moment. Can't see us going down, can't see us battling for anything higher than mid-table. So yeah, I think he put out a good team. As for Hartley-Paul, they're doing okay. Don't think they'll go down. They'll be happy enough with that after only just coming up last season. But Jeff Stellin, you and your boys are getting it this weekend. It's going to be 3-0. 3-0 minimum. Count yourselves lucky. Hi guys, this is my FA Cup fourth round preview for Manchester City versus Fulham. Um, As a Fulham fan, it's been no real surprise that we drew Man City in the FA Cup or any cup because we played them in the FA Cup three times out of the last four years. So it was no shock that to see us be drawn out against Man City. What can you say about Man City? Just incredible at times. Blow teams away. Um, and then they drew last last game against Southampton. And they've, they haven't they have played since. So that could probably be the only thing that might go for Fulham, if we're lucky. But I just can't see it. With us, uh, also at, with Fulham, I know we drew the last game against Blackpool. Stop start game, 40 minute suspension, obviously, due to a fan um, having a cardiac arrest. Um, but you got to just beat what's in front of you. And obviously, we didn't do that. Fair play to Blackpool, they played very well. Um, so, yeah, as for this game, again, I can't really see us doing too much. Might get the odd, no, might nick the odd goal, but I don't think it will be a full and win at all. Um, plus, we're playing two days later in in the actual championship, so I can't see us being a full strength side, to be honest. So I'm going to go for a three-one Man City win. So this time, I'm looking at Southampton versus Coventry in the FA Cup rather than. Any Premier League games this time around. Um, you know, we all do love to see a little FA Cup upset, you know, giant killing along the way. You know, it's all about the excitement of the Cup. Um, even though it wasn't for me being Newcastle fan in the last round. Um, but obviously, Southampton are probably going to bring the changes, play a couple of youth players and fringe players, I imagine. But even if they do that um, and they play anything like they did, against her play against Man City then I'm afraid I can't see anything other than the Southampton win and then progressing through the next round I'm going to go 3-0 Southampton Everton v Brentford you know Everton are going through quite a poor run of late they sacked their manager they've just um, announced Frank Lampard as their new manager it's not going to make a difference I'm going to back my team We've already done them at home this season in the league. So I'm going to go with a 1-0 win to Brentford. Spurs versus Brighton. <clears throat> um, we're just coming toward the end of the transfer window now. Um, Tottenham have made a, a couple of signings. Um, we've still got uh, we've still got the last couple of days um, before the window shuts. Be interesting to see if they do any more business, um, especially uh, with with Brighton. Um, <clears throat> a few teams have been sniffing around their players. Um, should be an interesting game. I, it'd be interesting to see um, with maybe a little bit more added depth, um, whether that allows Conte um, to try something different. Or if he wants to, um, if he wants to integrate the players more into the system um, and into the team, we know what we know what Brighton are, are capable of. We know what they can do. Um, how seriously they want to take the competition and this game uh, remains to be seen. They don't have much to worry about in the league. Um, 
So maybe they maybe they try and go all out for a trophy. I think depending on how uh, how Tottenham line up, it's um, it's their game to lose really. And it'll be um, it'll be a disappointment to be out of um, out of contention for uh, for a trophy this season. Obviously, it's something that's um, desperately wanted. Um, so, I, I would expect um, I would expect a, a push and a, and a charge from Conte um, at home for Tottenham. I think um, I think they can do a job. Um, and I see this uh, 2-0 Tottenham. Well, the magic of the FA Cup is now at Anfield. Liverpool versus Cardiff City should be an interesting affair. I am picking the Reds. However, I do expect the Welshire side to make it difficult for Jurgen Klopp's men. The game is taking place on Sunday the 6th of February and it's the fourth round of the FA Cup as Klopp looks to steer his men towards another domestic final. Cardiff City have not been playing well as of late as they are battling to survive in the EFL Championship. They are in the bottom five. So Liverpool should get over the line but this is the FA Cup and this is what it's all about. It's games like this where you tend to see players from lower tiers rise to the occasion and that's what makes this competition special. The FA Cup is always about the underdog and Cardiff City are definitely the underdogs here. I think Klopp should be very careful if he picks youngsters especially against a very tough Cardiff team that will be looking to spring a surprise because they'll be fighting for everything. I believe Liverpool will win the game 2-1, but don't be surprised if Cardiff City shock Anfield. FA Cup, my game this week, Nottingham Forest Leicester, um, East Midlands Derby, might be a bit of feisty affair. Um, league form at the minute, I'll just talk about it for just a sec. Uh, Forest absolutely flying under Steve Cooper, I think. Since he's gone there, they've got the most points return um, in that period of time out of all the teams. So credit to them and credit to him for doing well. Leicester obviously even though a bit inconsistent. Um, but FA Cup holders, they'll want to keep that going. Uh, maybe you know get a bit of confidence up, go on a little running league. Um, I think Rodgers will put out a strong team because he'll want to do well again in the competition. Um, so I expect him to put out a, a decent side. Forest obviously will put out a good side, although, you know, getting in the playoffs and trying to get up with their priority but you know obviously they get a good cup run going as well give them confidence um, also they beat Arsenal last round 1-0 good performance um, so this one for me I uh, don't know like I say Derby game will be treated as Derby game um, so I think it's going to be uh, I think it's going to be a tough game for, for both teams um what do I think will happen? Uh, I think it'll be. I do think it'll be a tight affair. I don't see him coming out um, winning this game big. Um, I think it certainly. I think it certainly could have extra time went all over it. Um, so I think with that, I'm going to go for a tight, cagey game. Maybe one all after 90 minutes. Um, and I've just got to go. Be boring here. I think I'm just going to go for Leicester to nick it. An extra time, uh, two one. But it wouldn't surprise me if Forest won it. But no, I'm going to go for um, Leicester, an extra time, uh, two one, and uh, get through to the next round. The Forest can concentrate on trying to get in the playoffs. <laughs>